Forgnish Gaming. Hello and welcome to Forgnish Gaming. Bah! I'm the dude that plays the games. And today uh, we're going to be going back. Oh, that's not the mouse. We are going to be going back to um, NZXT's website again. I, I have like a love-hate relationship with NZXT. Um, I love the computer that I got. I love the upgrades that I did. I just hate that how much that I had to pay for it. Um, but unfortunately, at the beginning of 2022, yeah, at the beginning of 2022, the prices of computer parts and everything were a bit ridiculous. Um, so here we are. We're coming back. This time, I'm going to see, I'm going to kind of compare if I can build a computer for about the same quality and same price as I could for one of their pre-builds. Um, and then I'll kind of, I'll, I'll kind of talk about what all I would use in specific computer scenarios. So that way you all kind of know what's going on and and we have a thing. You know, you know things and I know things. And then, you know, we can just, if you have any questions, concerns, you just let me know. Uh, anyways, you know, uh, thanks for staying tuned for this long. Uh, if you like, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and, and subscribe down below. That helps me tremendously and, uh, you know, it helps me to help make more videos to help you all. Um, so any, you know, any kind of support I greatly appreciate. I, I appreciate everyone that's with uh, with me so far. So here we go. Uh, we're going into the gaming PCs, and we're going to build a custom PC this time. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to build something on here that will... Um, and that's a big, that's a good little performance difference between AMD and Intel. That's a good little chunk, yeah. What if I bumped up? That's about the same. Well, except for GTA. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Let's try, um, let's try going for N AMD. And we'll ch change the budget down to about fifteen hundred dollars, and right here it's showing that we will would get like eighty five fps, one hundred and three, fifty three, and forty nine um, for ten eighty p, and then here sixty, sixty eight, forty eight, and thirty five for fourteen forty p. So I'm not sure if that's on, like on what kind of settings. It doesn't say, doesn't specify, so I have no idea. Um, Anyways, so here we are actually, we're, we're just going to jump into it. We're going to go AMD, um, out of the gate, can go ahead and see a couple things on here that we can go ahead and change immediately. Um, this case right here, there's no airflow, I mean there's a little bit of airflow, like right there, like a little strip, and I don't, I don't care for that, so we'll, ooh, okay, we can go ahead and save 80 bucks off the bat and get a better case. It's not as big of a case, but you get that nice airflow through your system, which is remarkable. I have a friend that actually, uh, he got a custom built uh, NZXT from doing this website here. And it was actually, he, he picked that airflow one, which is something I'm a little bit jealous of because I, I didn't get that. But then upgraded to the new H7 flow. Much better, much more room, and I actually have more room to upgrade. Um, haven't done it yet. I'm just kind of well. I I just bought this thousand dollar laptop, so I'm just kind of saving money at this point. Um, no point in spending more money than what I need right now. Um, but anyways, anyways, going going back into it. The NZXT H510 Flow Case. I would pick that one over. Uh, let's see. You are another flat face case. Okay. I see that they have the NZXT H7. But it's the the flat one on the front. I don't... I H510 Elite. I know that one's... That one's flat. The Elite's flat. It's just glass. H510i. That's cool. And you can put your thingies up there. That's also $160. You're paying plus ultra for that. It's basically just a H510 case. It's no airflow. 
Not good. Just save that money and get the H510 Flow. Right here. You can get the NZXT N7B550. This is the big white motherboard. Um, now this part here, you can go a little fancier if you wanted to. Spend that extra $10. Or you can actually do this route right here with the Asus Prime B550 Plus ACHES. Which is actually the same exact one that's in my computer now that I have zero issues with. It's not as gamey, maybe not as overclockability, um, but it will save you $110. I'm all about saving money. And I mean, if you're, if you're not really looking for overclocking, this would be perfect. If you were going to overclock, I would probably lean a little more towards... Um, Either the ASRock X570 or the ASUS ROG. I'd probably do this one because it's $110 cheaper than the other one. But for just standard use, not overclocking, going to be like gaming, streaming, recording, any of those things, this motherboard's great. Don't have to worry about it. Next, CPU. Okay, so it looks like they're doing a promotion on the AMD Ryzen 7 5700X. Okay. And the 5800X. Hmm. Then they have the new 7000 series of 110 more dollars. It's 4.5 gigahertz, 100 105 and it boosts to 5.4. Hmm. Uh, you know what, for, I'm all, uh, you know what, we're going to try to go price to performance and budget E. The Ryzen 7 5800X is a remarkable CPU. Runs a little hot, runs a little warm, so you need a little bit of better cooler for it. But overall stacks, 3.8 gigahertz, boosting to 4.7 128 gigabytes RAM support and 105 watts uh, TDP. That's that's not bad. I mean, you could find similar performance in the Ryzen 7 5700X, but for a five dollar difference, I would lean more towards the 5800X. For five bucks, you can you can do that. You've been saving money already, so I would go ahead and run that one. Uh, before I get into anything else, let's go over here to the RAM. S standard, you get Team T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4 3200 MHz RAM, which is not bad. Let's see what else they have. Thirty, Because I actually have one set of this, and then I have like one set of the Delta. Like I've got two normal ones and then two RGB ones like that. And it still works. It works perfectly fine. I just wanted a little RGB in my setup, but it's $13 difference. I mean, if you're wanting RGB, $13 isn't going to break the bank. But, I mean, if you don't care much for it, like if you're just going to put your computer on the ground, just do Team T-Force Vulcan. It doesn't matter. It's It literally does the same exact thing. Um, G-Skill 3200, okay. Four thousand sixty four thousand megahertz for sixty three six that okay that's DDR five. What is the option? Two sticks of sixteen for thirty two, and that is a hundred and sixty three more dollars. That's um. You know what? Let's say okay for forty-two more dollars, we can get thirty-two gigs of thirty-two hundred. That's not bad. Um, let's see here. If we did that, it would actually for fifteen more dollars, you can get RGB RAM. You know what? Sure. No, 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 no. We'll just we'll just do the normal. We'll just do normal. It says streaming, but I'm not sure what that means. They all say streaming, except for this one. This one says nothing. 
Okay. Um, cooling. Let's see. This one's sold out. What do they have a set to automatically? Nobody knows. Okay, so whatever it had us on originally is not there. So we can actually look. Okay, air coolers are great, but I'm not sure if it would be enough for the CPU that you got. Because especially where it runs a little hot, you definitely... I would lean a little more towards an AIO, like a, like one of the liquid-cooled ones that's already set up. Um, let's see, X53, I think that one's just a 240mm cooler, okay. And it saves us 50 bucks. Okay, we'll, we'll try that one. 140 more dollars for, uh, let's see, X63. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the one, and it's got the LCD display. I think this one here is the 280 millimeter radiator instead of the 240, which is a, a bit better to, for cooling. But I don't see the normal one on here. So they're kind of forcing you into buying the RGB with a cool LCD display. I, you know, I'll be honest with you, the X53 would probably be enough if you're not doing anything super crazy. Uh, like I said, I have a 280 millimeter. I have the uh, just the normal Z63 without the RGB or the LCD screen. Or maybe it's not Z63. I know it's a 280 millimeter radiator. How's that? Um, the X53 would probably be plenty good enough for what you need. If worse come to worse, you can just add like two more fans to the other side of it and just do like a push and pull thing. So it's just like pushing it through and then pulling it through at the same time. So you get like double the amount for like two more 120 millimeter fans. That's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal at all. So we'll stick with this one for now. All right. This is. Oh, um, before I forget, I picked 32 gigabytes of RAM versus the 16 because I don't believe six one I don't believe 16 gigabytes is enough for streaming or for um, recording and gaming at the same time I wholeheartedly believe that you need at least 32 because most games are requiring 16 so if a game requires 16 you need more than that to multitask. That's another reason why I kind of lean towards the eight this eight core processor here because um, eight core and sixteen threads, so that way you can multitask. Most games only really use like four cores, maybe six at the max. So eight cores would be plenty enough for gaming, recording, streaming, or all three. As long as you're not like going super crazy with it, I think that's that's perfectly fine. Next, um, okay, an RX sixty six hundred. This card, this graphics card right here, is basically a little bit better than an RTX thirty fifty, but not as good as a thirty sixty. Like it's about like a good twenty five ish percent less. Like if you had to like stack them against each other. That would be the kind of gap that you would have. Um, and that's just a preset one. I mean, and a 3050 for 250 more dollars? Oh, that's ridiculous. But I also think that there's a recall on some of the AMD stuff right now as well. So apparently if it's like flipped the way that it's supposed to go in, it overheats. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. That's probably why it's part of the promotion or that or they're just trying to get rid of product. But 3060 unfortunately is out of stock. That one would have been one that I would have just straight went to because a 3060 is a good solid platform in game. You can game anything with a 3060 no problem may not have like the best max settings on 4k 
but it i mean you could play anything with it because a 3060 is like it was better than like a 2080 i think or something something close to that it was like on that same level with that much of a difference um let's see i don't i wouldn't do this i wouldn't do the two the 3050 for 250 more dollars because this one here is actually a slightly better card but then your next options are 4080 and a 4090. I can tell you right now, the um, Ryzen 7 5800X is bottlenecking my RTX 3070 Ti a little bit. So, if you got either, I mean, you'll get great performance with one of these two for a thousand extra dollars. But you're, I mean, you won't get the you won't get the most out of these graphics cards. Is what I'm trying to say. It's you just won't. So, I guess we're stuck with this one. 6600. Power supply. NZXT 650W bronze. That's not bad. But for $40 more, you get 200 more wattage. And it's gold. It's 80 plus gold. Yep. 80 plus gold rating. Uh, zero RPM fan mode. Okay. So, that's... That's not bad. I would probably go more towards the 80 plus gold than I would the bronze. Um, now you could go to this NZXT. It's I guess it's a slightly better brand than XPG. But 80 plus gold is 80 plus gold. I wouldn't worry about it. And plus it's 100 wattage more. And you could be You could potentially go EVGA for this thousand for an extra thousand like 40 bucks 40 bucks isn't going to break the bank and it's super to achieve 90 percent efficiency at 50 percent system load fully modular i feel like the 850 watt gold would be great for anything that you would need but for 40 more dollars for a thousand watts, that's like future proofing on top of future proofing. Wouldn't have to worry about it. And they should, NZXT should give you the additional cables that they don't use. So that way, if you wanted to do another system down the road, you could. But if you needed to save 40 bucks, go with the 80, 850 watt gold. That is that is a great deal. But this one, for 40 more dollars, that's not bad. I'll take it. And then storage. This is another thing that I have a lot of issues with with a lot of NCXT stuff is that they either do like 500 gigs for SSD or they'll do a one terabyte. See, this one here automatically goes for the 500 gigs. Um, I believe, let's see, for 200, for two terabytes is $170. For 3,300 right speed read speed 3300 read and then 1200 write speed so that's not bad that's basically the western digital blue is what they put stock in my uh old streaming plus pc from the beginning of 2022 and it was a one terabyte so 86 more dollars for a one terabyte or 170 more for a two Let's see. Let's see what uh, the Samsung EVO does. 114 for a one terabyte. These are a bit better numbers. Um, this one's not much different, but the write speed is quite a bit different. For let's see, I can't remember. It was a uh, 170. So for 30 more dollars, you get better performance with a Samsung 970 EVO. So I I would probably go for this one. Thirty dollars isn't going to break the bank like a thousand dollars would. I mean, I didn't you know, I I'm real in particular about things. I feel like to wait. Oh, it added it. You so you can add multiples. So we don't we don't need the Western Digital Blue. So that saved us like 50-ish dollars. Yeah, that saved us like $52 by taking that one off. 
two terabytes is significantly better than one terabyte. And, uh, because most games nowadays, they cost hundreds, hundreds of gigabytes worth of data, uh, of storage, to, uh, so it basically just steals all that. And then if you're recording gameplay, or recording anything on a computer, it just immediately sucks it all up. Like, it uses up storage like candy, man. It just... It is ridiculous. So I would go at least two terabytes with this. Um, I have unfortunately have not upgraded my desktop storage, but I have upgraded my laptop storage already. So what we would do is this one here. That's not a bad deal for two hundred bucks, two terabytes. That's basically market value of what you get online on Amazon or anything else. So that that's looking good. This is already at fifteen hundred dollars. And then uh, estimated shipping is like a week out or something crazy like that. And then here you can go to add-ons. You get like monitors and then monitor arms. Peripherals. I don't think we need any of that stuff. It's just like keyboards and mice. You can find good deals on that any day of the week on Amazon or on Newegg. Uh, RGB. Don't need... Any of this stuff, extras, internal USB expansion for $25 more dollars. Um, yeah, you wouldn't need any of this stuff. Software, just go Windows 11 at home. I mean, you could go Pro for $30 more dollars, but eh, it's whatever. Standard service. Okay, so here we've got VR ready, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, lighting, USB-C, but it didn't green light us on Steam stream ready which is weird like I don't understand why we wouldn't be so the subtotal the subtotal is fifteen hundred and thirty two dollars basically so like fifteen it's a little bit closer to fifteen thirty how's that fifteen hundred and thirty dollars for this setup that's okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best setup in the world because you're basically getting something a little bit better than RTX 3050. The, um, your cooling supply is only 240 millimeter, which I would pro I would lean a little bit more towards a 280 or a 360, really, for 8-core. But that's just my opinion. 240 would probably do most things no problem. Keep it cool. So... Actually, since we're done with this, I kind of want to go back to the main screen here. And I want to go to the pre-built gaming PCs. And I actually want to look at... What's Core Series? Explore the Core Series. Okay, so this is like where you can get combos of stuff. So you can get like a case, motherboard, power supply, and a... Um, an AIO, but you don't get anything else. So six hundred bucks, H five ten Elite, H seven ten, and then H five ten. All kind of crappy cases. I mean, they look cool. They have like the negative pressure thing going on, but I just I would prefer airflow. Like you know, you just need it. So here, this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go to the streaming PC series because I actually just looked at this earlier. And here we go. For fifteen hundred dollars, even this is what we're looking at. We're looking at the streaming plus PC. So it looks like you know we get the crappy H510 case, which. You know, for like uh, anywhere from like eighty to a hundred dollars, you could potentially replace this case, like I did. That's what I did. I got rid of this thing as quickly as possible, unless you wanted to do some kind of mod to like void your warranty and like cut out a big slot and put like holes and stuff in it, so that way the fans could actually suck air through it. But I wouldn't recommend that. For the warranty, at least let it at least let your warranty run out first before you do anything crazy. Uh, so that way you can get it fixed. So here it looks like you get one 
20 millimeter AIO, which is okay. You know what? Let's let's just scroll down first and see what we get. So looks like an AMD uh, Ryzen 7 5700X. That's not bad. That, that is actually a great CPU. 8 core, 16 threads, and it's on the better option. Fast processing speeds for demanding games and multitasking. So that way you could do your you could do your streaming, you could do your recording and your gaming, or you could do it all at oh sorry, or you could do it all at the same time. Great processor. It's a little bit slower than the 5800X, but the difference is insignificant. And it's a little bit better on power efficiency. So it may not run as hot because I know it's a newer CPU. Uh, the RTX 3070 that is a great choice. Great choice for a card high level performance for high resolution gaming. Uh, entry to graphical rendering. That's not bad. It's on the better side of the scale. Okay, I'll take that because I'm currently running a 3070 Ti. Let's run the tech specs here. Okay, the RAM... Uh, you, it is giving you two sticks of eight, two eight gig sticks, so you're at sixteen gigabytes total. At thirty two hundred megahertz, it's just the very basic black Vulcan C RAM. You can get like two more sticks for like eighty bucks, something, or maybe even less than that. Maybe it's like sixty or fifty dollars, fifty sixty bucks. You can go ahead and double that RAM to thirty two, so you'd have four sticks of eight gigabytes, and. 32 get that's currently that's what I'm running right now it's four sticks of eight to make it 32 or you could just replace the two sticks for two of the 16 gigs each to get 32 just however you want to do it personally I'd like to I'd just save that money and get the 40 or 50 dollar and then if you wanted to upgrade later then you have more sticks to trade out or sell to make up some of your money here you're getting a m.2 NVMe SSD a one terabyte one which is better than a 500 gig but I still feel like you would need more more storage for especially recording. Maybe not so much for streaming, but for the games. The games just take up so much space nowadays. It's ridiculous. It really is. Um, your SSD, it's going to vary by product, which you'll probably just get a Western Digital Blue because that's what I got. The B550 motherboard, you'll probably get the Asus uh, ACHES or whatever it's called. The the big one with a lot of slots because that's basically what I got in my system as well. Uh, it's not a bad it's not a bad motherboard at all, very basic. Don't expect any kind of like overclocking with it, which I wouldn't because I just kind of run it as is. Um now the Kraken 120 if it does come with this, now, when I ordered mine, it said that it came with a Kraken 120 or M120 or something something to that effect. But it actually came with a 280 millimeter radiator instead. So this, I'm not sure if you can really go by, but if it does come with a 120, I would potentially think about upgrading that to a... 280 millimeter radiator so that way you can just slap it in the front and then just try to do the negative pressure that way that would actually be the only way you could do the negative pressure but i would do that especially in the h510 case so that would probably run you like another hundred and some dollars give or take um so we're already 150 ish maybe 200 dollars up compared to the base price um that we started with but the 3070, the 3070 alone is worth every bit of that upgrade. Because if you can go, you can actually go on to Amazon.com right now. We'll just go ahead and search it here. So we'll go ahead and go to RTX 3070. Oops. 70. Right here. This, this is why. It's 650 to 700 and some dollars. It's ridiculous. It's high. Thirty sixty Ti for five hundred and ten. I mean, that's a that's a good chunk of change, and it's giving you one. It is giving you one with this fifteen hundred dollars setup. That's like half of it. That's half of your budget already. Now, 
I'm not a big fan of 80 plus bronze. I'd much rather see, or right here, 80, 80 plus bronze. I'd much rather see 80 plus gold, but this could work. I mean, you wouldn't... It's not, it, in my opinion, it's not optimal. I believe if you have any kind of gaming, PC, streaming, something, you would need more reliability like the 80 plus gold gives versus the 80 plus bronze. Not to say that there's anything wrong with the bronze, but I would just prefer gold. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, here's the RAM. You'll get the team the T-Force Vulcan Z. Just go ahead and spend that extra 50, 60 bucks. Get two more 8 gig sticks. Boom, you're at 32. You're at plenty for streaming and gaming at the same time. Not bad. Uh, the case, like I said, it's a crappy H510 with no airflow, but... In the future, you could potentially upgrade that for another $100 and get a better case like the H7 Flow, which is what I have. Much bigger case. You can put like a big 360, 280mm radiator up top, or you could put it in the front. Actually, I would do it at the top, and then you get a 140mm in the back like what I have now, and then have three 140mm fans in the front. Currently, I'm only running three 120s because that's just the extra ones that I had. But that's what you could do. You could upgrade it that way. Two-year warranty, that's not bad. I would definitely kind of leave everything kind of stockish while this uh, period is going on. Now, you can go ahead and upgrade RAM because you just take RAM out. I mean, it is what it is. You need more RAM. That is a must. The cooler... I don't know how well it would do. I know that the Ryzen 7 5700X doesn't take up as much power as the Ryzen 7 5800X. Uh, and I know the 5800X did run hot, but I know that this is like a newer kind of revised chip. So they might have fixed that problem with this one. So that's just something to just kind of watch out for. This might be enough, but personally I'd like to see higher. For 8 cores, I'd like to see like a 280 or 360. It's just my opinion. Keep it cool. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that is that's that's it. That's the whole thing for fifteen hundred dollars. This is, I believe, this is a much better deal because of the graphics card alone. Um, now I know you'll bottleneck it probably a little bit, but the performance that you'll get out of this card versus that RX sixty six hundred is significant it's a significant difference like it is a let me see i always always love to just google search this stuff because it tells me so much more about a product um so that way so that way i know more like i'm not i'm not perfect by any means shape or form but i love doing my research so that way i'm more informed to give you all a better speculation. Like it is based off of gpu.userbenchmark.com. It is about a hundred and one percent difference. And you'll be gaining like let me see if there's an FPS counter on here. I actually don't yeah. So for like lighting and reflections, you're getting like 160, 80 percent differences. Uh, 150, 60 for average scores. So it just kind of kind of gives you like a, a like a detailed, a more detailed kind of thing. And you know, based off of based off this website. Now this isn't true, but it's saying a 3070 is like 550 dollars, which is it's not. It's a bit more expensive than that right now. And it's saying an RX 6600 is like 250 bucks is that much of a difference now online that rx 6600 is probably a bit more than 250 dollars it probably it definitely is i'm not gonna lie it probably definitely is because everything's just more expensive uh but this is this system right here i like i said i hate the case i'll just tell you up front i hate the h510 case but that 3070 for 1500 dollars and an 8-core 16-thread processor 
this is more of a gaming streaming setup with the upgrade of the RAM. I'd say that's kind of a must. You can change the RAM, you could do whatever, but I would have at least 32 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz for sure. But yeah, I would not, I definitely would not build, like do the little process of building a computer just by this one. It is a much better deal for the graphics card alone. Now, it doesn't say specifically what kind of graphics card you'll have, because I know I ended up getting EVGA, and I can't remember what my friend had, but he also got a 3070 Ti, but it's a different brand altogether. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you're getting 85 on GTA 5, and this 1440p, 141 FPS on Fortnite, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 119 FPS, and League of Legends 325. That's 1440. Then 1080, even better. 94, 200 basically, 120, and 363. That's phenomenal. Like, that is great. That is a good buy. This one here is a great buy on NZXT's website. Now, it is a little pricey. Like I said, $1,500 is a lot of money. But if you account for the fact that your graphics card that's in there is probably like $700, $750. And then let's, you know what, we'll... Let, let's do this together. Let's go ahead and pull up Amazon one more time. And then we will see. Ryzen. Oops. Probably would help if I had the R. Ryzen 7. Let's see. 5700X. 5, Here we go. Boom. This is a $200 CPU. And then the 5800X is even, it's even more, it's 65 more dollars, really? Or I said 5900X. Oh, and then you could get the 3D one, I wouldn't get this 3D one, that's just weird. Like, if anything, I would just, for that price, I'd just go ahead and get the Ryzen 7 7700X. Much, much better deal versus that 3D one. But we're just looking at this. So that's a originally $300, but is currently on sale for $200. So 200 and 750 you're already at uh, 250 You're already at $1,000. So $500 is everything else in your system, including Windows. That's probably $100. So a Windows, I think it was Windows 11. Um, let me see, doesn't, overview, um, details inside the box, just the computer, it would probably come with Windows 11 if I had to assume, free download, reviews, could it be happier, a lot of people, except for this one, is damaged, that's, Probably FedEx's fault or something crazy like that. But yeah, this here for $1,500. For $500, you're getting a $60, $70 case, probably $80 case if I had to assume. Uh, then your AIO is probably like a hundred ish dollars, give or take. RAM is $50, $60. Bucks. Uh, motherboard is like 150 ish dollars, give or take. Probably not quite that expensive. Uh, but I believe it all kind of adds up really well. They are actually not making much money at all off of this PC. This is this is a great buy for the price of each product. Now, like I said, the 80 plus bronze power supply is not ideal, but it will work. And the H510 case is not ideal because it doesn't have airflow. And the uh, the RAM, you just don't have enough RAM. You need more RAM, at least 32 gigs, if you're going to do any kind of real streaming. I would say that this was just kind of a streaming PC, not a streaming plus. This is like a gaming PC. This is a great gaming PC, but you need more RAM for streaming personally. And then the AIO, it's kind of iffy, 
but we will see what you get. And it looks like you get one of those, and then two. Looks like two 120 millimeter fans in the front, so you can you can always upgrade fans. That's no big deal. But yeah, I I definitely would not build build a PC on here. I would just go ahead and buy this one, buy the Streaming Plus, and then you can just upgrade it later. Like I said, it comes with a seven hundred and fifty dollar card. That's half your budget. So, anyways, that's that's it. That's kind of my little spill for the day. Um, I would now, as far as computers go, if you're looking for just a, if you're just looking for gaming, I would almost recommend just going towards consoles, like gaming consoles, like the Xbox, PlayStation, or even Nintendo Switch. Because the price to performance, you, you just cannot beat them. You just can't. For $500 for the console, and it comes with a controller and everything to plug it up, except for a TV. You just need a TV. See, so like, like with, this, with, with this computer here, you would need to buy your own mouse. You need to buy your own keyboard. Um, you need to buy your own monitor. So you need to buy all that extra stuff with that so that's that's even extra so you're probably really looking at about two thousand ish dollars by the time that you you know after tax and everything else probably about two thousand dollars for an entire setup versus a console where you can get everything for like six seven hundred dollars for everything and it would game just as well as this computer would i mean probably not as good but it would be well enough to where you price to performance, you cannot beat it. You can game in 4K really well with Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Um, now, that's just my spill on gaming. Now, if you're wanting to do streaming, you could do that console and you can do a lower end PC. Because you wouldn't be gaming on that PC and streaming at the same time. You could do that. But if you're wanting to game and stream at the same time off of the same console. Then this streaming plus PC is a great start. It's not perfect. But it is a great start to what you're wanting to do. Um, but that's that's just kind, that's just kind of where I'm at. Um. Especially, especially if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of free time and you just kind of want to game when you can, I wouldn't recommend spending thousands of dollars on a computer that you really don't even have much of a chance to even play or to do much with. It's, I believe it wouldn't be worth it. If I could go back, I probably would get something a bit cheaper than what I have now or... If I would have just waited it out, I could have got this laptop here with a Ryzen 7 5800H processor and an RTX 3070 for $1,000. So I could have saved a lot of money. I could have saved like 2000 bucks by not over $2,000 because I'm, I've already upgraded this PC some. But that's, that's just kind of my spiel. Like I would... If you're kind of someone on the go, I'd get like a Nintendo Switch, I'd get the Steam Deck probably, or I'd get a gaming laptop, and I would just try your luck that way. Because, uh, especially me, like I don't have a lot of free time anymore, so a lot of my gaming is actually on my Nintendo Switch. Um, I, I, now... And then sometimes, like, I'll have, like, one of my nephews, like, he just came over yesterday. And what we ended up doing was we brought my little laptop out in there, plugged it up to a 4K TV, and we played Played Up together for, like, a few hours. And then before that, we played Diablo 3 on the Nintendo Switch. 
I mean, you know, like he, the, that literally both of those two games is all we played that entire day. And, and it was great because that gave me, um, flexibility to get up, move around, you know, just, or, or to do other things. Like I didn't, I wasn't just stuck doing that one thing. Um, so it's, it's great to be flexible that way. If you don't have a lot of time, I wouldn't recommend spending this much money on computers. Save your money until you get a great deal that pops up. If it's if it's too good to pass up, like like I said, this laptop here, I will speak volumes for it. Now, it's not as good as a desktop. By no means is it not. But it is leagues better than what I was working with. And... It's basically like a eighteen hundred dollar laptop, and I got it for a thousand bucks. Those kind of deals are what you need to look for when you're looking for a computer. Don't jump at the first thing you see. Do a lot of research, like really look into it, because you. I don't want to sell you on a fifteen hundred dollar laptop when like in a few months you could find something for like a thousand dollars that's just as good or close to it and that's that's just kind of my stick is i uh, i just love saving money there's no point i hate wasting money and i hate paying retail for anything i feel like that's more of a scam than anything like uh, like right now, Steam has, for its little holiday thing until like January 5th or something, you can get a ton of games on sale. Now that is the time that I would look through and buy the games that I would want to play. I wouldn't go through and buy stuff brand new. And I mean, you know, most people do that. Most people can buy a game and they can run through and play it. You know, record it and be like the first one on YouTube doing all that crazy stuff with it. And great. And it could be a wonderful game. But 60 70 or even $80 for a game? Like, by the time that you bought five games for 60 bucks, that's $300. Like, just, just thinking about it is just blowing my mind. And I, I used to be someone that would be really excited about a brand new game and just buy it, like, instantly. Like, $60 here, $60 there. But in the long run, I wish I kind of would have waited a little bit for some of these games. And I wish I could have waited more on the PCs. I should have waited until... Um, should have just waited until every like especially with the uh the bitcoin mining and the uh like the the virtual cu currency where everybody was mining all these coins and everything it just like it was and prices of computers and everything was just way too ridiculous and i should have just waited it out and I would have gotten a much better deal. I would have been able to save like 500 bucks on a computer today. Literally like one year later. Now, the stuff in it has, got, has dated a little bit. But the performance is exactly the same. Almost. Almost exactly the same. It has a little bit less of a CPU and a little bit less of a GPU. But they're almost identical almost identical for $500 less like this I I cannot stress this enough if it's something that you don't use every day then it's probably not a good idea to sink too much money into it uh, and that's that's just it that, that's just kind of my stick with it um, I love PC gaming I love gaming with my friends and everything online but I just don't I just don't have that much of an opportunity anymore um, and most people and most people don't especially especially parents I'm a parent and you know kid comes first it's just as easy as that you know and I would much rather spend more time with my kid and less time with a computer any day 
Now, do I love, and I do love making videos, and I love being informative. Like I've always, I've always wanted to do like YouTube videos, and I wanted to do like gaming videos and stuff. And I gave it a try once, and it didn't, and it kind of fell through. So, uh, and then you know, all these years later, I got, I got better hardware, I got better equipment. Um, you know, just slowly building up, like right now, like I'm not even using the key lights because I just don't have room for them. And it is such a hassle always having to set everything up and making everything look perfect. And I just, and I would much rather just go, I would much rather be informative to you all than look pretty. You know, I don't look pretty. <laughs> by no means do I look pretty, but like, I'm, and my little office, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to knock that, but my office room right now that I work in is cluttered ever since Christmas, like everything comes in here, this is the catch-all room, that's why I'm like, you, you kind of, you see more curtain and you see less Stormtrooper back there, like he's, he's just like hanging up there, he's like, I'm, I'm leaning back, I got way too much stuff on me. Uh, and then I've I got a new TV back there. You probably can't see it, but it's literally just laying back there. I've never went out to actually buy the wall mount. Um, I'm going to try to transform this room into a better YouTube studio, I guess. I guess that would be the best way to say it. Um, love to have like a couch or something in front of these shelves. I then mean, have like a little gaming setup over here on the wall, like do like couch co-op thing, or uh, or if I wanted to do a more informative video, like I sit back there, or I could have like a desk or something crazy, you know. But for right now, I'm perfectly content with what I have and what I'm working with. You don't necessarily need the best equipment to make great videos. And I mean, and I, and I was so shocked with a couple of my videos that were hitting in the thousands of views. I was very shocked at that. But that's that's kind of my spiel is don't don't go overboard with it. Save your money and bide your time. That's probably the best advice I can give because for this five hundred dollars, you know, there's there you can buy like a mic, you can buy an arm, you can buy a keyboard, and mouse, you can buy headphones. I mean, you can. You can buy anything with that extra money. And if I would have just waited that one more year, I could have had something almost identical to what I had from last year. Uh, and I know, you know, and I know new hardware and stuff comes out, but your 30, your like rise, your RTX 3060s, 3070s, 3080s, they don't get worse, they stay exactly the same. It's just they're coming out with more better stuff, which is great, like 40, 60, 40, 70, 40, 80. But your 30, 70, 30, 80, 30, 60 will still outperform the 2000s and the 1000 series, no problem. And you will still be able to game flawlessly. It's just you're paying more for the newest stuff which is great, but it's just it's just more money, you know. That's all it is. It's just more money when you could save money and get the and get just as good performance as you would have last year. Then I, I'd be I'd be okay with that. Like I wish I would have waited and got this for cheaper. But anyways, I'm I'm done ranting. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Sorry, I kind of. I get a little sidetracked sometimes, especially about talking about the 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 future of Ford Niche Gaming. Um, I'd love to build it up, get better stuff, maybe better camera one day, but just using a little Razer Keo Pro. It's no problem. Just throw me in the corner of the video. No, pro no big deal. Uh, but... Yeah, anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, please hit that hit that thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Tell your friends. Tell, tell them to tell their friends. And just everybody. Just, just get them over here. You know, I, I'd love to have more people to watch this stuff. You know, I love being informative. And I love interacting with everybody. I love comments. And I try my best to get back to you all as quickly as I can. And I try to be as 
helpful as possible because I know the computer stuff, especially especially for someone that went from console to PC, it has it is a it take it takes a lot it take it takes a lot of research to kind of figure out the puzzle of a PC and then translate it to console. It's basically like if you're doing more than gaming, like if you're doing video editing, recording, streaming, then you would probably definitely need a good computer for but you you'll but you'll also pay for it. You will pay these premium prices for a PC. But if you are just gaming, I would just stick with a console. I wouldn't worry about PC at all because you know because you can buy you literally buy a PlayStation Five, an Xbox Series X, and a Nintendo Switch OLED for less than fifteen hundred dollars. And I mean, and even this this fifteen hundred dollars that is before tax, by the way. So they'll probably tack on another hundred hundred fifty dollars for ta- for taxes and shipping and all that junk too. So that's that's just kind of my spiel. Is you can get if you're a gamer, just just do consoles. You'll just save so much more money doing that versus buying PC and then PC gaming. So yeah, that's it. That that that's it. That's it for real. Anyways, I uh, hope you all have a great one and stay tuned for the next video. Yeah.